Hi guys, it's Hani here and today I'm gonna be sharing with you step by step how to make velvet pumpkin cookies. I love the look of velvet pumpkins as decorations and I wanted to recreate that look in a cookie form and uh, today I'm gonna show you how I did it. Let's get started. First, we're going to prepare texture decorating medium and I'm using white granulated sugar and concentrated gel color. This is Colorette from Pro Gel and I love this color. It produces such nice deep burgundy like color. It's so beautiful. And once your sugar is pulverized to powdered sugar like, we can pour it into a bowl. I'm going to be using different colors and it's really important to wipe the inside of the grinder between each color. Just please make sure that you unplug the grinder before you do that. You can also use a combination of two to three colors to achieve the shade you'd like. I'm using orange and claret. With the addition of food coloring, you're introducing moisture to sugar. So what sometimes can happen, sugar can become slightly damp. This is totally normal and we're going to amend it by either uh, air drying it or you can also air dry it in the oven. And I'll show you in a little bit how. I'm going to be using different shades of greens and blues. You can do any color you'd like. I really like the deep colors though. And to air dry the sugar in the oven, use the lowest possible temperature setting. I tried two settings, 40 and 50 degrees of Celsius. That's about 100 and 120 degrees of Fahrenheit and it worked with both settings. You want to layer sugar in even layer onto the parchment and let it dry in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now it's really important after you are done drying your sugar to sift it because there can be some lumps of sugar that didn't pulverized or little bits of food coloring and you want to remove those bits and then you can store your colored sugar in a ziploc bag or a small airtight container until you're ready to use it. I'm using my sugar cookie dough recipe here. Today I made my uh, um, cookies with different uh, pumpkin cookie cutters and I'm also using my fresh lemon royal icing recipe. This recipe is listed on my blog hanielas.com and also here on my YouTube channel. Links are in the description box under the video. I am using about 15 to 20 second consistency royal icing and we're going to outline every other segment. Reason behind this is to achieve dimension. So once you are done doing this uh, first step, we're going to let it crust for about 20 to 30 minutes and then we can fill in the remaining sections. And since the first layer is going to be crusted, second layer is not going to uh, get blended with the first layer and we'll have a nice definition between segments. You can see I'm piping around the edges first, increasing the pressure on the piping bag so more icing is coming out and then filling in the center. Use a scribe tool to shape the icing while it's still wet. And after this step, we have to let it dry completely, so best to let it dry overnight. Once it's dry, we can add small amount of royal icing. This is the same consistency I used on the base and spread it in an even thin layer on a cookie with a food only paintbrush. You don't want to add too much icing on there because you're risking that you're going to lose that nice definition you created. And while this is still wet, dust it generously with the prepared texture sugar mixture and then shake off the excess. Now I'm going to remove the bits from the stem and then with stiff royal icing that I colored with ivory food coloring and a piping tip number two, you can pipe the stem. Allow the stem to dry and then you can paint it with gold edible paint or you can use uh, gold uh, luster dust mixed with alcohol. Now in this second design I'm gonna use this beautiful claret and we'll use matching claret texture sugar as well. And again you have to 
ice every other section and then let the section crust and then pipe the sections in between. Isn't this gorgeous? This color is absolutely stunning. I love it so much. Again, it's a brand called Pro Gel and it comes in a tube. It's very, very concentrated. You don't have to use a whole lot. You can see I nested my cookie into a coffee filter. It makes for a really easy cleanup. And now all you have to do is add the stem. This is a different shape. Now, if you don't have a lot of different shapes of uh, pumpkin cookie cutters, what you can do, you can get just one shape and maybe um, squish it with pliers to make it a bit to prolongate the shape or, um, or squish it down to make it a bit more flat. You know, you don't have to get different different cutters, just maybe get three of the same. They need to be metal cutters, though. If you get plastic cutter, you'll break the cutter if you try to squeeze it. And this is a really nice purple. This is actually straight from a bottle, purple, Regal from Americolor brand. I always talk about my purple colors because they are so hard to achieve if you don't have the right food coloring. Now, if you don't have Regal Purple, you can also use, and that's what I've been using for many years before I discovered Regal Purple, uh, you can use Sky Blue Food Coloring and Electric Pink Food Coloring. Those are two colors that really produce nice color. All right, so one more segment at the very end. And just remember, pumpkins, it, um, they have, the segments are not always even, so it's perfectly fine if they are not uh, same width. You can just, you know, play with the different sizes to make it a bit more realistic looking. It is important to remove any residue from the sugar from the stem, so the icing um, is going to stick to the to the cookie otherwise it may not adhere well this is the shape I was mentioning this is uh, the one that I actually um, flattened down a little bit to create this shape my cookie cutter I mean sorry it wasn't clear so I used the cookie cutter that was a bit wider and I just uh, used my hands to kind of flatten it a little bit to create this nice pumpkin shape And the paintbrushes I'm using, these are all from Wilton. It's a set of five paintbrushes that I absolutely love using. And it's listed in my Amazon shop. A link to the Amazon shop is in the description box. I love this blue. This is actually just royal blue, straight from a bottle. And the last step I decided to do is to airbrush the cookies with gold metallic airbrush color. I just like how it kind of um, gives them a little shimmer, little little something something, right? Now if you don't have airbrush you can also use gold mist and here are the finished cookies. Aren't these gorgeous? I love love how these turned out. These would look great on your Thanksgiving table. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed creating these cookies. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.